Welcome to a special edition of On With John. I have Alex and Kim from Mag Pro. Guys, I'm so excited to have you guys on. We're pumped. We're honored to be here. <laughs> All right, great. Well, you're officially on with John. Now, you have uh, a big announcement that you, you wanted to make, right? Yeah. Um, most people probably didn't see because the uh, pre-sale came out for Luminaries Tops Baseball and to you know, pre-order. Didn't last very long. We tried to order ourselves, but they're coming. All the cards, and they're not the booklets, but all the cards are coming in a Mag Pro. So Tops came, reached out to us and wanted to put their cards in a Mag Pro to put them in the box. And we're pretty pumped about that. Wow. Something, wow. We, something that's been out for about a year. And we've already got that kind of reception. We're really excited. Oh, that's huge. Congrats. Thank you. That'll that'll guarantee that none of them get damaged in the box then, right? Absolutely. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so. Stay, stay locked, locked, <clears throat> locked and shut, yep. <laughs> Yeah, so, you know, you have taken um, collectors on YouTube by storm. I mean, I am your biggest fan. And there are many, many, many fans out there. But they might be just as big, but they're not bigger. I absolutely <laughs> love the Mag Pro holders. And my experience uh, when I first learned about them was so wonderful. Your customer service is phenomenal. And Kim, I mean, yeah. you bend over backwards. Thank you. I uh, just want to share with everybody. I got your email from somebody and they said, just reach out to Kim. And well, actually, I just got the generic email. I'll back up. Just reach out and uh, they'll do some labels for you. So I sent a note and said, hey, I'm interested in having some personalized labels. And, and they responded right away and said, we'll send you to the person that does them. And then you responded right away. And I told you what I wanted. And you mocked up like 20 different ones and sent them to me right away. I picked one, sent them back to you, said I want 100 labels, and uh, they were shipped that day. They were printed and shipped that same day that I, I reached out, which is just uh, incredible. <laughs> well, I'm so happy to hear that you're really, really pleased with that. And we do work really hard to try to satisfy all of the customer requests that come in. I mean, from time to time, we do have some come in that we can't do for trademark or copyright issues. but. But we try to make it as smooth a possible or smooth a process as possible. And so, you know, I love hearing the feedback. I'm so happy to hear that, you know, people are happy with what we're doing. And we really appreciate your promotion because I know we've gotten a lot of customers come back and say, hey, John Mangini told me about yeah. your labels. <laughs> so that's been awesome. I'm going to I'm going to she's going to give you the textbook professional answer, John. I'm going to. It's been great. Early on, she was, we were able to do that right away. She she was on it. She had never created a label up to that point. She'd never done these. Is that right? Just learned on the fly because we were in, in over our heads. We did not organize or prepare as well as we probably should have. That's why they sent you to one link to the next link, which we've now got fixed. And she just handled it. She, she figured it out. She made it. And I still remember... She was so excited that she was shouting her out on your on your YouTube page. We're sitting in bed and we're watching it. We're all, <laughs> all excited. Yeah. Unfortunately, the return time's not quite as quickly. We still try to do as best we can, but uh, you know, normally it's it's a twenty four hour response at, at the latest, and especially if it's a smaller order, she's doing them night of next day, and this is with her full time job and everything else. So she's the talent. She's, she's yeah, man. I, I I haven't had better customer service. I mean, she always gets right back. She orders them. They're out the door. They're shipped quickly, and your shipping arrives quickly. Yeah, I'm super, super happy. So, Alex, this was kind of your brain trust, wasn't it? A little bit. A little bit on the idea of it. Uh, we got in the hobby, I want to say 2019. Uh, Clint Anderson, the owner of Zion Cases, is a good friend of mine. I've worked with him for years. We were actually living together at a job working together, and he got me into collecting cards. I started doing the breaks. I got, you know, got really into it, you know, and so – I just, you know, as I grew into the, you know, into stuff and getting more familiar with cards, I saw some of the, you know, these, these smaller, lower end, I don't want to say lower end, but smaller, you know, grading companies that were charging 10, 15 bucks that had kind of a cool label. But unfortunately, the, you know, the up, the upside, if you got a 10, you didn't really add a lot of value. And that's even if you got a 10, you know, if you got a nine, you right. spent $15 for no value change, but a cool label. And I right. just want to plant who it started design cases at this point was just starting to grow. And so why does someone make something just like this with magnets so they can make their, and we can do it and we can customize even, even better label. And then they can open it and put four or five labels in if they want. And it's yeah. still the same size because he makes design cases. 
I thought it, you know, it's universal with other, you know, graded cards in, in the cases instead of having the top loaders or the normal one touches fall kind of underneath. So I brought it up to him. He said, you know, that's not a bad idea. And then that was about all I heard. And then I, you know, stayed on him a couple months later. He's like, hey, what do you think about that? And it took him about a year, but I think most of that was because he was growing himself. Like Zion really took a big jump about that time. And then he got the connections and he's like, you know what? He circled back and I think we're going to try that. Then he perfected it. I'm not going to take credit for the, some of the sleekness and the stackable and some of the things he did were brilliant. You know, it was my idea, but he, he made it. Perfect. He ran with it. Yeah. You know, that's a, a great point. I want to point out that these things are yep. stackable and yep. they fit so great. You can easily pick them up and move them around. Now, I don't think you guys make um, protective sleeves for those. We do now. Right? We just got we them. do. Oh, you do now? Oh, yep. Okay, fantastic. And you yep. can order them on the website? I don't know if we got them on the website now, but you can reach out to Kim and we'll get them to you. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Okay, I was going to say uh, that I get them from Superior Fit Innovations. Yep. They make them uh, to fit because yep. I've been ordering from them for years. But if I can get them straight from you, that's fantastic. Yeah, that's one question that we've had come up several times. several times. So yeah, and that's the one thing with us is, you know, obviously Clint's doing really well with Zion. He's very busy, you know, and adding things there. And we're trying to build as we go, and we don't want to get too ahead of ourselves. Where the Mag Pro customer service suffers, or the, or unfortunately, like we ran out of 180s right now. Hopefully, we have them in a, by the first of the year. We don't ever want that to happen again. We want to make yeah, sure. Yeah, I noticed that. I went to order some. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and so we want to. We don't want that to happen. We want to make sure we're keeping. We don't want to get ahead of ourselves and let the bottom, the back end, what you know, suffer. So yeah. We, so let's start at the the basics. This is uh, this is the holder, and this is how they come. And I get the custom labels through Kim, and she sends me a, a bag of of my labels. And I have to tell you, you know, from from your first ones to these ones, uh, these are just exceptional. They're they're almost different. a little rubbery, and they fit in there perfectly. They stick in there um real nice and they're they're kind of shimmery yeah and, and and the camera won't pick it up properly but man these are these are first rate labels i'm glad you like those sourcing that paper was interesting so as you know <laughs> our first labels were kind of flat and boring and we found this really cool luster paper that has that sheen to it and i think it just makes especially on a black and white label really pop yeah now let me ask you if somebody reaches out uh, somebody's watching and they want to reach out and get their own labels and they reach out to you. How, how, how much do you charge? You have an upfront, um, fee, you, you will do the layout, right? Based on yeah. what they yeah. want. So basically if they want a completely custom label, they've never, they don't have anything designed themselves. We do that for a flat $50 fee and we offer two revisions for that. Um, if someone comes to us and says, hey, I've got my own logo, would you guys put that on a label for me? We typically charge a label setup fee of $15 and then we just produce as many labels as they want. So okay. we just start at a minimum of 10 and go all the way up to five to 10,000. Okay, so if somebody wanted to order 20 labels from you, how much would that cost? That's 17, yep. 17, 17. plus the 50 one time. Yep. One time fee. And we do that just because, you know, we've got to set that up on our templates, get mm -hmm. everything set up in our system. But, you know, if they order the same label going forward, that fee is waived on every order thereafter. Yeah. It's very affordable. Uh, she I, also, I don't mean to interrupt. You. She also has a template too. I mean, that, I think that's the, my favorite thing. Yeah. So we have also got um, something for the hobbyists who like to customize their own labels. So we've got an editable template that they can purchase. It has 30 labels on the page. It uh, has the ability to customize each individual label and they can print these at home. If they don't want to print them at home, they can input all the information for us, send it back to us and we'll print and cut the labels for them as well. The big thing been, with this one is, it, I'm sorry, we, can't really, we can't really do much with like putting athletes names. You know, there is some trademark with names and numbers and things like that. This allows us to, you know, let them put that stuff in themselves and, you know, they then they're, then they're not buying those labels from us. This allows them to kind of put, you know, if they want to put, you know, thirty a, a, a whole lineup of like let's say the Dream Team, they can go in there and type in each individual name on each one of those labels, and then if they had a Dream Team card, they could put each label for each player. Yeah, so you can have individual labels yeah. with yeah. The, the 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 card number or what yeah. it is or one of one or whatever. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's fantastic. I know a lot of people make them at home, uh, but not everybody has that that capability 
and they're a very specific size and your um the label stock is just fantastic thank you so you know i'm one of those people i don't like numbers on my cards so this idea (laughs) (laughs) this idea just you know was perfect for me and then uh my two hobby friends that order from you, Adam, Splendid yep. Sports, and, and Dylan, they used to be PSA junkies, and now they're addicted to these, too. We've converted so, them. Yes. Yay. <laughs> I mean, they look, you know, the cards look fantastic in these. And the one thing about them is they're crystal clear. They're, they're just so clear. When you put them next to um, a graded slab, they're so much clearer. Yeah. I you know can see, a lot see of the card really well. With that and sourcing the acrylic and making sure that what we had was the clearest version possible. And it really has paid off because, you know, the resolution on your cards is just phenomenal. Yeah. You, we, yeah, got, you know, you, we, we have all these new shiny cards and if they're dulled, um, it really takes away from the look of them. Oh, yeah. yeah. We've actually got, you know, and this has been a process as well, trying to you know, make sure they're what we want them to be. We, we've got a couple of sleeved versions coming. Hopefully have them here at the first year. We thought we'd have them sooner. Even when you put the penny sleeve, the card of the penny sleeve, and there, there's the space is fitted so the penny sleeve will fit in the Mag Pro itself. If those who want to protect the surface or whatever, we've had a lot of requests for that. You still can't even tell there's a mag, uh, there's a penny sleeve on it because again, it's so crystal clear. Nice. You know, so you get that extra protection, but you still don't know that there's a sleeve in there. Are the sleeves easy to put the cards in? I know, um, like with the Pro Mode ones, they're so tight, and I I actually uh, damaged a corner of a card trying to use them basically they're your normal one touch width which was what we were most concerned about because that's where you nick okay. the corner. so they're as yeah. wide as a normal one touch they're a millimeter short on top they still cover everything it's not an issue when you put them in the, the slab and you slap them down they don't move so they're fully covered but we that was a concern because they right now if you got a, a perfect fit sleeve would fit in a mac pro but i'm never putting in any cards of mine in a perfect fit sleeve because i'm going to damage a corner or I'm going to have to trim off the edge, and then I can see that trim off while it's sitting in the slab, and it drives me nuts. Now, are those available now? Um, no, they'll be. We're hoping to release them right after the first year. Like I said, we okay went to the drawing board several times with that width issue with it. The sleeve was a little bit tall, and again, we're not going to release anything unless it gives you know all of our stamp of approval. Yeah, fantastic. I'm I'm glad you brought that up. That's one of the questions I always get. The other question I always get is everybody wants them for 52 tops, 53 tops, 52 Bowman, uh, those odd sizes. Uh, Do you have anything in the works for any of those? In time. Um, In time. Molds aren't aren't cheap. And, you know, as much as we'd love to, you know, get everyone, because I would love to have some for those as well. We've got to make sure it justifies paying for the mold and get the acrylic and everything like that. In time, it's coming. I just can't give you a, a definite answer. It's something okay. we obviously want to add. Obviously, we'd like to do booklets, you know, as well at some point. We've played around with that mold some, but you know, it's just again, one thing, you know, we're trying to do one step at a time. We thought the the fitted sleeves that go over top was probably a big thing. The sleeve version was a, the next big, big thing. And I think maybe some different sizes is what we're going to be working on here over the next year. Fantastic. I I, I have a suggestion for you. So Please. when it comes to smaller cards. Uh, like let's say a T205. I slab them this way. BCW makes inserts. They make them for tobacco carts and they make them for 1948 through 50 Bowman. And I will use these for odd sizes. I'll use them for stamps. I use it for tobacco cards, uh, anything that's, that's undersized. And they look fantastic in here. Yeah, and yeah. there's no floating. They're, they're perfect. Uh, Here's the problem. Uh, BCW doesn't make them for like 1952 or uh, other sizes along those lines. If you had an insert sleeve like this, see, this one is specifically to fit 1950 Bowman. But um, if you took out the guides and just had one harder sleeve like this, then you could put any size card in it and it would hold it. And that way, you wouldn't need to make 28 different holders. You could just have a simple insert. We may have to send you send us a sample that take a look at. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're awesome because they're harder than a plast uh, than a than a penny sleeve, so they hold them in place. They hold them real nice. Okay. And so even like smaller cards, like I'll take stamps and use the 1950 inserts here. 
and they they're they're perfect they stay put they don't they don't move around at all and we have to take a look at those absolutely yeah i thought um, if i had something like that it would solve uh wouldn't solve the oversize but it would definitely <laughs> solve the all the odd size carts yeah. For sure. Well, this is this is again where we we not been in the hobby very long, don't know too much about the different sizes of cards. You know, my collection is not as ex extravagant as yours, so there's a <laughs> lot of variations in there that I've never seen. That's why I love watching your shows. So you know, we're always open for suggestions. And someone like you, if you want to send us some suggestions, samples of something like that, we'd more than happy to run with it. All right. And uh, I wanted to ask you about your um, different sizes you have. You have the 35 point. Yep. Right, which is holds all your vintage, your modern cards, your basic basic cards, your regular cards, regular card stock. Then you have the fifty five point, the seventy five point, uh, one hundred point, and the one eighty. Right? One thirty as well. Yeah, one thirty as well. Oh, and the one thirty. Yes. yes. Okay, uh, so you have those all pretty much covered. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of a lot of people like to use the fifty five for like a chrome card. It's a little bit thick, you know, like yeah. the top's chrome. You know, when we do the uh, sleeve version, we are going to come out with a 35 and 55, but we've got it to the point we think a 55 would actually, is with, especially with a sleeve, because the sleeve help add, you can almost use a thirty, a 55 for a 35, 55, and a 75 card. And then yeah. we're going to maybe make a, like a 100 that would cover the 100 and 130 cards as well, and then maybe make it a 180 as well. You can kind of dual purpose a couple of them when you put the sleeve with it. Yeah, now um... – Adam over at Splendid Sports, uh, he and Dylan just did a, a live and, um, well, they did a program. And uh, he likes, uh, they like the four pocket pages for binders. And they have PSA ones that snap in. And he wanted me to ask you if you had any plans of doing them for Mag Pro. I have a no similar idea. four I have pocket page. I have to go look at that. <laughs> hey, tell okay. Adam, Adam invited us on the show and he never followed through. So you know, he's going <laughs> to probably show and ask this himself <laughs> <laughs> yeah some people you know uh they either are player collector and they'll have a number or they're um, a set collector and maybe they have just the big cards graded and the rest of the set and binders so a lot of us and i'm one of them we'll use four pocket pages for the um, graded ones or mag pros in the front and they make soft ones the the regular you know there are companies that make them that fit pretty much every um, graded slab but uh, PSA makes one where it actually slaps in, snaps in, and, and is held securely, and it's a little fancier. So uh, he's looking for those. If you, uh, well, Clint, you'll, you'll at least have one customer if you make them. Well, when Clint, well, Clint's got a lot of people <laughs> he works with that do certain things like that as well on the side, like uh, Show Your Slabs. Corey Show Your Slabs works with Clint on a lot of stuff. So that's something we could always outsource to them and, and try to add it to the collection. You know what we do? That, that's one good thing that we have a lot of collaboration with some other people in the hobby. Again, this is you know, Clint is the secret sauce in a lot of ways. That he knows a lot of people. He's been you know been out there on the road for six years. You know, he started the first show he said he went to. He went with one, a two, two row black. He went there with two. He came home with two. And he went to the second show. He said, "If I don't sell one now, I'm out of it." And, he sold both <laughs> them, and the rest was history. So, you no, know, he's got a lot of connections. So, anything you you know, want to suggest, you know, I normally would run it by him and then see where he wants to direct me. Yeah, talk a little bit about you have some labels on your on your website, like for the for teams like the Pittsburgh Pirates. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just talk got, a little bit about what you offer along those lines. Um, again, that's what uh, Clint worked with Fanatics. We had the licensing. So it's not just something we make that a lot of people do out there. We were just talking about this tonight. Yeah. It frustrates us that we're doing it the way you're supposed to. We got the licensing. We pay Fanatics for the licensing. We don't want to do anything. We don't want to step on anybody's toes, use someone else's product. And so we do have their licensing agreement with them. So what we have is specifically allowed by Tops and Fanatics. And so we have at least two designs per team. per team that we offer on the website right now. They come in packs of 25. I believe they're six ninety nine or no, sorry, three ninety nine. I believe for a 25 yep. pack. And unfortunately we can't break them down less than 25 because we're already breaking them down from packs of hundred. And I can tell you the time process for that is not, <laughs> you know, not short. So yeah. Well, that's, that's cheap for a, a what is it? 25 $4. labels, 25 labels for $4. Yeah. So, yeah. And then Clint is going to start, you know, he's, he's, he's dabbled a little bit with his cases. He's going to use the same logos on his cases. He's going to be able to offer all of them. So, yeah, those team ones are fantastic. I saw them when I saw you at the uh, national and we were all grabbing them. We were telling all our friends, go grab your team. Yep. 
It, it, uh, well, it just helps make when you again everything's built around the Zion case. You know, when you're when you're late, you know, stacking your cards, you can have your pirates, you have your Phillies, you know, kind of put them in row by the, the logo up top. Yeah. So when you're going through the old card catalog way, you can go by team. Oh, nice. Yeah. So tell tell everybody if they want to buy Mag Pros, where do they go? What do they have to spend? They can come to ZionCases.com. We have a tab um, for Mag Pro, so you can click on that tab. You can select any of the sizes that you want. We also offer sticker seals for the Mag Pro, so you can find those there. And we can customize those if you want. Um, if you want custom labels, we've got a link for that. But you can the easiest way really is to just reach out to our email address, and you can reach out to Kim at ZionCases.com. Nice. Now, do you sell your Mag Pros through um, other stores, uh, through hobby shops? We have wholesalers, yes. yes. We and we all. also do sell through Amazon, too. Um, is that the only one, I think, at this point? Maybe I think eBay so. as well. eBay yeah. and Amazon, possibly. Yes. Yeah, definitely Amazon. But the easiest way is through our website. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And if you have, if there's a store out there that wants to buy, we offer wholesale pricing, you know, both with the Mag Pros, the high on anything, and those, and so, yeah. Try to get the shops to sell. I mean, anyone who wants to buy them wholesale, we can put them in the shops. We're all for it. Only if they request you can't sell them cheaper than we, than we sell them. <laughs> <laughs> I want to tell everybody that's watching, um, they will view the comments on the video. So if there's anything you want to say, uh, put it in the comments uh, and let them know uh, what you think, any ideas you have. Uh, it's It's so great to have collectors and, and people in the hobby just brainstorm and, and let you know i think you know for, uh, when it's coming from collectors we all know what we love and what we need and what no one's supplying to us right well just like this i mean this came from a guy who'd been in the hobby for six months <laughs> and just kind of it was like fresh eyes and i was like you know what i think someone needs this yeah and just sometimes that's what it takes just i'm not a huge collector but it's just like i think this would be something the hobby could use and we ran with it so, you know, you know always, we're always listening to anybody's advice. You know, we're, we're growing ourselves and learning. So, yeah, that's fantastic. Like I said, I'm, I'm a huge fan. I got a, a gift for the holiday uh, from a fellow YouTuber, and he put a custom label on the card he sent me. Nice. I mean, how great is that? I'll, I'll never forget where I got the card. That's awesome. And I know a lot of YouTubers, they make cards of themselves, and they will get custom lab labels for that. Oh yeah, and they'll they'll send their 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 personal card with a label in a mag pro. I love it. Yeah, we've had yeah. people say they want that's why they want to give out their business card that way. Yeah, or, or you know, and we've actually and I know this is you know a sports you know community, but we do coins. We have a, you know 3D print and insert. And we put coins in. I give them away for gifts. Like I know some of my coin collector buddies. I'll buy a rare coin. I'll get a 3D in, you know insert to put in the mag pro so the coin sticks out. Give them a custom label when it's a gift. You know, wow. Use it for lots of different ideas, you know, and so. Well, there you go. Uh, do you have these, or are you thinking about having these for like Tops coins? I've not seen a Tops coin. Um, you, yeah, you, from... you gotta you gotta educate us <laughs> yeah. newbies here, John. All right, I'll send you a picture of one. I was I was looking to see if I had one laying around. Alex is great. Yeah, I actually do. Um, you know, they look like this. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Okay. That's the next idea. Yep, yep. Yeah. Smaller, I like it. <laughs> yeah, there, there's a real, I mean, if you don't get those graded and slabbed, they're really hard to put in a protective anything. They, yeah. You know, people use those uh, coin holders, the white ones that you staple. Uh, the ones that stick together with an adhesive don't stay together. And the ones you staple just look terrible, right? It's not a fun way to display them. So if you don't get them graded, you don't really have another another option. But I want to thank you for being on. Is there anything else you want to let everybody know or any new happenings? I don't think so. I think the, the Luminaries thing was great. The sleeve version coming out was great. Again, you know, we, we appreciate you having us on. We've been following you for a long time and got a chance to meet you at the National. Kim couldn't come, unfortunately. She will. She'll be in Chicago next year. I look yeah. forward to hoping to see you. Um, oh, fantastic. And, and this is the reason, you know, there's always, you know, some issues yet when you're doing customer service. No, not, not every situation is perfect. But it's guys like you and a lot of other ones that made Kim's job a lot easier. She loves it. You know, dealing with people like that. So. We all love Kim. <laughs> Thank you. It's been <laughs> fun to get to know everyone. And I think that's the best part is just building this new community of people that are really excited about the hobby. 
Yeah. I just want to say for the record that I am not a sponsor of Mag Pro or Zion. I am very vocal when I find products that I love and I want to share them with other collectors. And that's what I'm doing right now. And like I said, I'm the biggest, your biggest fan. I love them. I, when I get a bat, I have 50 on the way right now. You awesome. know, I only reach out to you to order them when I'm ordering my labels. Otherwise I, I get, that's why I always order extra labels. Okay. So I, I, I reach out to you when I run out, but one, uh, it is so much fun to get a, to get a box and just go through and it like brings life to cards all over again. And I go through and I put them in there. It's, it's so much fun for me. Well, we really appreciate your enthusiastic support and we're so excited to be here tonight. So thanks again for inviting yeah, us. Yeah, she, she had brought up that she wanted us to bring on, we jumped at it. So <laughs> I appreciate it. I was really excited to do this one. Yeah. Well, I have to say when the president calls, <laughs> we answer. <laughs> so, we voted for you. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks again. And you have officially been on with John. So cool. Thanks, awesome. John. thanks John. All right. We'll see you guys.